Okay, I'm now I'm going to pass to our next speaker. That's Katerina Kanechna, an MEP from the Czech Republic. Um, let, let me ask you this question. Recommendation number one is that we need a new framework at EU level in order for the change to happen. Do you think this is a good idea? Would you, would you support it? And what do you think the Parliament could do to make it happen? Katerina, welcome. So thank you. Thank you very much. And initially, let me thank the organizers for the honor of closing this conference as well as Rare 2030 initiative. Um, it was shown that the, the best way to help patients with rare diseases is through the investment for social justice. And it's a leftish idea. And for me, as a member of left wing political party, it's the vision and the value which I cherish and uh, in which I believe. I am convinced that the recommendation from this study uh, about what you spoke today uh, came at the exact right moment. Uh, it's not a secret that uh, I consider COVID-19 as a door of, of opportunity which were opened and which helped us to find greater integration of individual health system in the EU and greater cooperation in health policy between member states. Uh, many of the recommendations presented in the study were familiar to me because I encouraged uh, that uh, at my work and furthermore, it mirrors the ideas, uh, attitudes and experience of patients and the organization of uh, the represents them. Um, it's the apparent that the way our healthcare system works today, it's no longer sustainable and radical change is therefore needed. And the only answer how to help neglected group of patients and maintain our developed healthcare system in more Europe and more cooperation between member states. It's not only about the European Parliament and only about the European level. From this point of view, it's absolutely necessary that the Council draft the new recommendation of an action in the field of rare diseases since the uh, the old uh, ones are outdated and i think it's necessary that we will push the council on it and yes we still can make some important changes to enhance the current legislative framework at the european level and thank you very much for your work uh, to, to these days uh, because i personally see a number of possibilities in the documents that we already have in the european parliament such as the health union files or the pharmaceutical strategy for Europe, where your recommendation could be integrated. And I, I do it, I believe you. Um, after all, I'm a shadow reporter for literally uh, every of these files. And I promise that I will try to incorporate your suggestion into them. We can also try, we can also try together, push the commission by oral question to the new policy for rare diseases. And I'm open to do that. Uh, yet the change, but uh, also come from the bottom from the member states, which must agree on a change in a EU primary law towards deeper European integration in the fields of health. And there I see the crucial problem now, yeah, because they don't want, and I really say very open. Uh, this should not be a task only for me as a political uh, of uh, politician of the European Parliament, but also for national politicians who need to cope with uh, uh, with it uh, in the upcoming years. Yeah. And I hope uh, that uh, Mr. Ministers, uh, what we had uh, now, and uh, every politicians from member states will support us and approach their responsibility. Because I believe that the deeper cooperation uh, only with the, and the European wide solution to the solutions of patients with rare diseases should be one of the topics. So, of forthcoming Czech presidency of the Council, yeah? because I think that now is a time to open your question, your question in every side where it's possible. And uh, we, as a Czech Republic, will be have a presidency before us, France, after us, Sweden. And if we, uh, if it will be possible that we give it uh, the rare diseases question uh, to to our presidency work, uh, I think it uh, will be great because it's a uh, much work before us, as I said before, in the European level and the national level with the action plans and all these things. 
But in the other side, uh, we need so support from the council, uh, from the council and from the member states. Yeah? And the presidency uh, now can see us that uh, it will be better, and that now it's a time to do it and uh, to do it uh, together. And I hope that it uh, it happen. Uh, and uh, we will see. But uh, it's not only from, from my side as a European member, it needs to be so from side of the of the member states and and the commission. But I hope that we find a way how to do it because, and thank you very much in the end, uh, your colleagues from Eurodis, because you really help us with the eu for health program preparing with the amendments, with anything. And I was very happy that I was uh, represent your position and that the e in the eu for health program, you can see many of your inputs because uh, it wasn't easy, but in the other side, it's possible. And I think this is a, the crucial message for the future, that it's possible. Thank you very much. It's a very empowering and strong message. <laughs>